Oh, thank you. Um, some people don't believe that I'm gay. <laughs> and I call those people mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> my parents reacted to me coming out like that maid from the movie Get Out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm gay, and they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, since then they've been stuck in the drunken place. So, um, some gay people don't believe that I'm gay, um, mostly because I dress like a cool youth pastor. <laughs> like, I look like I'm about to like bust out an acoustic guitar and like lift my Lord's name on her. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, I don't dress like this because I'm a heterosexual. It's because I'm depressed. <laughs> like, that's two way different mental illnesses. So, uh, um, so I am gay and I'm poor. Uh, and because I left a career in tech to pursue comedy. So when it comes to my family reunions, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when that e-bike comes around every year, I, I turn to Randy Jackson, I'm like, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> last family reunion I went to, my aunt was like, you're gay and poor? Honey, you're not doing this correctly. And I'm like, bitch, I know, I haven't had brunch in 10 years. You know what I mean? Like, it's sad. Um, and every time I go back, um, inevitably someone asks me, oh, you're a comedian? Tell us a joke. And I was like, okay, well, I'm pushing 40 and I don't have health insurance. They're like, oh my God! And they laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> um, I am when immigration goes wrong, you know? <laughs> Um, so, uh, I also don't like going back because my grandfather is uh, homophobic and has Alzheimer's. So I've come out to my grandfather 14 times. <laughs> I, I'm like, is this my personal hell or his? You know what I mean? Like, I can't decide. <laughs> And every time I come out, he gets meaner and stupider. <laughs> like the first time I came out to him, he was like, you're gonna go to hell! And this last time I came out to him, he's like, you're gonna go to hell, carpet muncher! And I'm like, what? That's not the right slur. <laughs> <laughs> That's specifically what I'm not doing, you know? Like, you're an idiot. <laughs> he's also 99 and has high blood pressure. So my mom's like, stop coming out to him, you're gonna kill him! <laughs> You know, uh, my grandfather is so like hateful and homophobic that like I really need to get really good at gay sex. You know what I mean? Like I just want to like spite him. Like he's still alive, but like when he eventually dies, like wherever he is, like I want to be having some like hot ass gay sex when he's like looking up at me. You know, like I just want that vision. You know, and it's just like I'm bad at it. I'm bad at gay sex because um, I'm one of these people who are. Uh, who get too intimate too fast. You know, like, um, I, like for me, like, I just want, I like intimacy over sex. Like, I'm a psycho, you know, like I, <laughs> like, I believe, like, if you get to be inside my butt, I ought to be inside your head, you know, like, <laughs> you know, my tears for your fears, you know, like, it's an even exchange. Like, for me, like, sex with me is like Scientology. Like, once you're in, you're in for life, okay? And if you try to leave, I'll use your secrets against you. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, my grandfather, just to round this out, he's not just homophobic, you guys, he's racist. Uh, but he's, like, specifically racist against other types of Asians. Like, he's, like, still in Korean war mode, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I asked him when I was nine years old, are there gay people in Korea? And he said, there are no gay people in Korea! <laughs> I was like, sounds like there are gay people in Korea. They're <laughs> hiding them, you know? And he was like, okay, maybe there are a few gay people in Korea. But they're all Japanese.